for stopping by or coming back for another haul video. This is turning into an all haul all the time channel. Um, maybe I'll mix it up at some point. Anyway, it is Saturday and I did do a few yard sales today. I was disappointed because it's actually, sorry, uh, it's actually perfect weather for yard sales and I hoped to have a lot of them and there were not a lot of them. Um, so I have a few items to share with you and then hopefully I'll have some more to add later on. Um, I know there's two community yard sales I have my eye on for next week that I will possibly go to. Um, all right. Actually, it was a yard sale, yard sales, and one estate sale. So, let's see. I went to this one that I just passed. I got three things there. It was a, um, um, what's it called? A long-term care or assisted living. It was assisted living for children. So it was a charity event and I thought, oh, I didn't know they had assisted living for charity for children, you know, with, I guess, with issues that are incurable or whatever. Uh, so I really did want to buy a few things and I did, nothing too exciting. Um, this is a Vegas Golden Knights hoodie, but it's not a sweatshirt hoodie. It's just like cotton or cotton blend, lightweight. Um, and I don't particularly do well with this sort of thing, but again, it was a charity and I wanted to have a reason to give them some money. It's new with tag. This one's a large, they had it in a large and in a medium. And I just picked up the, I just picked up the large. I like it though. It's a kind of cool pea soup green, lightweight instead of a sweatshirt. Um, and then I picked up this cropped sweater. It is by Anthropology. It's an ombre gray. It's cropped, but not like tummy bearing. Mock turtleneck, a nice heavyweight cotton knit. I like this a lot. This is a size small. And then I picked up these shoes which I didn't do comps or anything because I wanted to buy things. Uh, these are Esprit, so Esprit, E-S-P-R-I-T. I see a lot of people calling it Esprit. It's Esprit. And for you younger people, this was a mall store and it was directed to younger people. I don't know. I guess you could compare it to like Forever 21. That's, you know, not something that your mother was shopping at. Uh, but anyway, there are a pair of brown shoes. I'm sure they're not leather, but I liked the, the Y2K chunky heel. Uh, I would wear these, they're size eight. I didn't try them on, probably a little small on me, but sometimes if things run big, nice tread, super clean. I just like the style and vintage, right? Right. Then I did go to a community yard sale that had not, not much. I bought one thing in the entire community yard sale. The turnout was not amazing. This is Vertigo Paris. Vertigo Paris, I believe, is an expensive brand, but doesn't necessarily resell well. Well, I have a Vertigo Paris, uh, I want to say it's like a trench coat, and it's beautiful, but it's not selling. But I still couldn't resist it because look how cute this is. A little jacket, feels like cotton, white piping, white buttons, and then this adorable dress underneath it with a high waist, slightly high waist, that, that precious little bow. It's got kind of a pattern to it, black on black, more of a, is it sewn? Hang on, I'm trying to see if this is actually embroidery. You know what it is, it's, it's embroidered. See, ah, oh, adorable, couldn't resist. What size is this? Oh, medium. I'll try this on. Maybe I'll, maybe if it fits, it should fit okay. If it doesn't look, if it looks okay, I might model this because it's so cute. Oh, I just saw a pull here, but I'll fix that. No problem. 
Um, and then I went to an estate sale. I got two things. The prices were high. It wasn't too much I liked. Um, just a hoodie. Carhartt. If it wasn't Carhartt, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, obviously. Carhartt. And it still, still won't make a ton on it. But I like to carry that. It's not... Also not like a sweatshirt. It's not as light as that... Um, Las Vegas Nights one, which is just basically t-shirt material. And not really, it's more like a French Terry, but lightweight. And this is a size medium. And then finally, I got this dress on this hanger. Do you think there's a market for vintage hangers? I have these from my aunt when I was at my aunt's last week. This one's from Arthur Gruel Furs, Montreal. And then this one's from Furs by Goldsmith, Los Angeles, California. Huh, I don't know if you buy that stuff. Anyway, this dress, the brand is Bizarre. I mean, that's the name of it, but it is bizarre because it underneath it says Christian Lacroix. It's Lacroix, darling. It's Lacroix. Size 40. I should see where it's made in France. So I think this could be the real real thing. And I don't know how Christian Lacroix does, but look how cute this dress is or pretty. It is a purple, mauvey purple, maybe. Um, and it has all this flower stuff that's part of the, it's not embroidered. It's actually part of the fabric. But these flowers here are embroidered. And then it's got this nice lining. So I had to try this. No, didn't look up comps. What do you think? Do so you think this is a good buy? Can I make some money on this? I think I can make some money on this. It was half price day, so I got a decent. And they didn't, they didn't mark it up like it was, um, you know, designer. It was just their regular dresses price. So that's what I got today. And I will return in what seems like seconds with whatever I get in the future. Okay, I did some more yard sailing. Uh, it's Saturday. <clears throat> it was kind of disappointing. It's finally cooled off here, perfect yard sale weather. There just weren't that many, but I went to this, it was a community yard sale. So the, like the, the entire area is called Sky Canyon and then there's different communities within it. There must've been at least 15 of them. Um, and so it was community yard sale for all of those communities. Uh, so I ex I hoped to do really well, but I've, as always, there are, you know, very small percentage of houses actually participate. Um, there was more sales than I've ever seen in a community that were, that, that made me question why they got out of bed, because they like a table with five things on it. And then there was a higher percentage of yard sales than I've ever seen that didn't have anything like clothes or shoes or bags or anything I would even stop for. And I guess it's a family area because so much kids stuff didn't look at any of it. So I do have some stuff to share with you. Um, this is not going to be my best yard sale season. My uh, very favorite biannual yard sale um, is coming up and I'm going to be out of town. I'm so upset about it. And, I, and I'm going to be out of town quite a bit. So I think I'm going to be missing a good deal of the fall yard sale season this year. Oh, thank goodness for the bins, at least. All right, let's see what I got. I got, this is a suede jacket. The brand is VS by Vaco. It's not a particularly good brand. Um, you can tell it's not high quality suede, but I thought it was cute. A little suede jacket with this print, so different. And it, it was cheap. Uh, okay, then I got... This is the only footwear I got, which again is also disappointing. Moon boots made in Korea. How could I resist these? They were a dollar. They're in excellent condition. There's no brand name, but I mean, they're vintage moon boots. Who cares what the brand is? They are a size nine slash 10 M. So I have to try these on. Okay, the M is in parentheses, so they must be a size 9, 10 men's. But I'll double check. I'll try them on, but I think that's what it is because it's not 9 women's, 10 men. It would never work that way. 
there. No reason why a woman couldn't wear them once I figure out the size. Look at that. I don't think they've been worn. Oh, there's one rock in it. They haven't been worn much. Uh, I got this. It's just Old Navy, but I really like it. Old Navy size large. It's a kind of military uh, cargo jacket. Um, I won't say Adirondack, but that's not it. What's this style called? Remind me. I had this happen the other day where I thought it was Adirondack, and I knew it wasn't Adirondack, but anyway, I'll figure it out. You know, where the belt is here. I'll probably figure it out and put it here because it's just sometimes you get old and certain words escape you. Nice and soft on the inside. I think it needs to be, I don't know if it needs to be washed and stain treated or just washed or what. It needs something. It was cheap. Um, I did buy a free people thing. I only buy free people. I, I saw I saw a few free people things, but I have mentioned that I don't do well with them. So unless I really like it and it's like a dollar, I'm not going to buy it. So this was a dollar. It's a size extra large, which is unusual. And it's a pretty, I won't rush to list this. I guess it's a gown. It's lacy there. It, what kind of free people is it? FP1. I don't know what that is. And it's maxi, that kind of Indian cotton made in India. This has holes in it, but I bought it anyway. I'm going to fix them. It was a dollar and it's Antoinette Franz House <clears throat> Haushofer made in <clears throat> Germany. Look at that. So considering the plaid and the pleats, when I darn the holes, it sh they should be hidden. I would wear that. So there was like, I think there were two, 100% wool, acetate lining. I, I think there were two holes, but I'm going to fix it. And this is also the same brand. This one doesn't have holes. Antoinette. I, I think I've had this before. Franz Haus 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 uh, and it's, what is it? I, I, I'm saying, it's a sweater dress, I guess, but you could definitely wear it with leggings or skinny pants. Like on me, it reaches, <clears throat> excuse me, like right at the knee or this much higher than the knee. So, so definitely long enough to be a dress and too long to be a top. I got this Zara TRF collection tinsel size small. It's a little dress. I thought it was really cute. Might try this on. Got this little belty situation. It's blue. Tinsel feels nice. Feels nice to me. I don't have a lot, so we're almost done here. And then I'm going to release this. These are, I believe these are pregnancy Spanx. Because it was with a pile of pregnant jeans. Yeah, it's got that stuff there. And then it's, it's not even really faux leather. Though it, it could look like leather. I don't know, is it faux leather? I'm going to see if I can find them. It feels really good. The inside feels really nice. Ooh, that feels good. This would feel good for somebody. And they are in, in like, they look like they're new. Tag is nice and white, not faded. Um, but I would say it's new. This was an extra small, so I hesitated, but it was so darn cute. And I have never actually sold this brand. It's Maeve, which is anthropology. It, but it's an extra small. It has little mushrooms all over it. Isn't that cute? It doesn't look like a really small, small. Oh, I don't wear this. And look at the, it's like a buttons with a toggle instead of buttonholes. Oh. Look. 
what's the fabric on this thing? This thing. Hey, Miss Thing, what's your fabric? It is, oh, it's rayon. And it is uh, imported by Anthropology. So I don't know if Maeve is, you know, because there are certain brands that sell at Anthropology, but not exclusively at Anthropology. So you can't always know to say Anthropology, but <clears throat> obviously this one I can. But it's just adorable. It's got that pin tucking there in the pocket. And I want to wear this. We'll see. So yesterday, no, the day before I was watching a video and she was going and it was all about Abercrombie and Fitch, which I do like to pick up periodically. And she was checking the different categories and everything. And then that night or the next morning, I sold an Abercrombie and Fitch jacket full price. I don't know why I don't, I'm not saying they're connected. I'm just saying, hmm, interesting. And then I found this. So I would have bought this anyway because it's new at tag. Um, Abercrombie and Fitch, size small, U.S. Uh, $99. And it's, uh, I will go with shacket on this. It's got, you know, shirt style. Though the hem is not, it's not a shirt hem. It's, it's straight across with this. Like, goes up there and round it. Really nice. Really nice. I like this. Let's see. Buttons are on the left. So it's a woman's. Pretty big for a small, but it's a jacket. Oh, I like this. I would stain this in about, like I might have already done it. Just trying it on. Better get it off. Get it off, get it off, ah! Uh, okay, and the last item that I got is a bag. It's a bag in a bag. Um, It is, this is the dust bag. Can you read it? I don't think so, it's Alexander Wang. Isn't he the one that had all that scandal and now people are very, like, anti-Alexander Wang? Um, so I don't know if this was a good bet. buy. Um, I did see some of the prices. It's a leather backpack. And I, you know, I did see some decent comps. So I wanted to try it. I could always use it. I should have checked the zippers. I didn't even realize there was a zipper there. Yeah, that works. I feel like the fact that she had the desk bag with it it means she probably took good care of it. Anyway, that is the last item that I got. I am not going yard sailing next weekend because I have plans with my bins buddy to go to the bins on Saturday. So unless I find, I'm just showing you. Um, so unless I found some, find some yard sales and stop at them on my way to work on Friday, I'm probably not yard sailing. So my next haul, um, and I hope you will join me, Consider this your invitation to join me to my next haul video, which will be a Vins haul. And that is it for now. I hope you're doing well, and I appreciate your coming by, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Anorak. It's an Anorak jacket. Bye again.